Hey there, I'm Aiden, uh, and I'm making a video about the uh, updated uh, Discord Sheets bot, just so that you guys can. It's a it's a it's a lot easier to uh, to use. Um, I guess I'll just get right into it. I'm gonna use Atom. I recommend it. You can go to packages, and there's a specific package for no settings packages. You can get this specific package, so uh, you can press F5 or F6 and it will automatically run a Python file. Um, you're going to need discord.py, uh, Google, here, uh, cmd. You're going to want to pip install discord.py in case you don't have it already, or discord install dash u for update. Uh, you'll also want uh, python dot env, I believe it is. Yeah. And then there's one other for Google, which uh, this should be probably the first link in the download or in the description and you need to just copy that command and paste it in right there uh, that one takes a hot minute it might install some extra stuff so I'm not really gonna run it but once you have all those installed along with Python itself obviously you should be pretty good um, the next step you're gonna want to go to this link enable Google Sheets API this is going to take a hot minute, so uh, yeah. Project name Discord bot. Next, you can name it whatever. It shouldn't really matter. This is the part that takes the longest. Desktop app. and you just want to download it. I'm going to download it to coding crud discord bots. This one. And you're going to want to name it credentials.json. Save. And you're done with that. Discord developer portal. You're going to want to create a bot um, and go to the bot part and copy it. And then you're going to paste it right here after the equal sign uh, behind discord token uh, I obviously don't want you to see mine so I'm not going to show you that uh, we have over here Google Sheets um, for spreadsheet ID uh, it's this line right here before the slash edit and after the slash D um, the ranges are defined as the sheet name so you see sheet 1 exclamation point range so a1 to b it's all that basically um you could say like b5 and it would be a1 to b5 but i don't really care um and then this is the bot uh it's really just super basic it only has uh, it shows you how to do args make sure that there are enough arguments. These are just some random values that it's going to write. Uh, here's it reading values, so it should read these values. And this is setting values, so it's going to set these values to that. And then it's going to tell you random stuff, and it's pretty much it. You shouldn't need to change much up here except for this stuff if you want to change ranges or you can define them in the code by just equals you know just like that but it's your call I don't really care uh, so quick F5 it's gonna go ahead and start up we're gonna have to authorize so it's gonna pull up in a web browser uh, 
you need to choose an account. It's going to say it isn't verified because obviously it isn't unless you verify it. But you can just go ahead and go to quick start. Grant allow. Yeah, allow. And you can close it. Startup complete. And uh, your bot should be ready to go. If we look in this random server, it's online. And if we run test, it's going to say please send arguments. So not that the arguments matter. And you can see it read out these values and it set these values. And you can see it knows which argument we sent and it is able to tell us uh, some information. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the bot. You can configure it however you'd like. Uh, if you'd like some more advanced uh, edits, I believe it's somewhere in here. Updating spreadsheets. Yeah, you can, like, for example, if you want to add sheets, you can use these with the uh, REST API. That's getting kind of advanced. I don't really want to... I'm not going to talk about that. You can... I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out on your own if you really want to. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it.